the new Cupra Born is now on sale with a starting price of £33,735. Only one motor option is available at launch but three others will arrive later. The first customers should take delivery of their cars before April 2022. It's a sporty electric hatchback that shares its underpinnings with the Volkswagen ID.3 and is the first pure electric model from Seat's performance sub-brand. The Born is one of the first sporty electric cars on the market and is part of Cupra's expanding electrification plans. Rivals will include the Nissan Leaf and Tesla Model 3, but there aren't many EVs with a sporty focus. For now, the Cupra Born range starts at £33,735, meaning the car doesn't qualify for the newly reduced plug-in car grant PICG. Three trim levels are available, with the entry-level V1 offering plenty of equipment. A Cupra Born V1 will feature parking sensors and a rear-view camera, adaptive cruise control, a heated steering wheel, keyless go, ambient lighting, rain-sensing wipers and LED headlights. The V2, costing less than £500 more, looks to be good value as it adds heated front seats, tinted rear windows and an augmented reality head-up display. Top spec V3 gets massaging and electrically adjustable front seats but it's expensive at £37,375. Each model gets a different size and design of alloy wheels, ranging from 18 to 20 inches in diameter. Due next is a cheaper version of the Cupra Born with a less powerful motor. Later in 2022, two e-boost versions with extra performance will be offered and we expect these to be more expensive. The Cupra Born is based on the MEB platform, which also underpins the Volkswagen ID.3 hatchback, the two cars also share the same powertrains. Every version is rear-wheel drive, although four-wheel drive models are expected to be offered later on. The entry-level model features a 148 brake horsepower electric motor and a 45 kWh battery. This powertrain manages 0 to 62 miles per hour in 8.9 seconds and a range of up to 211 miles. Buyers can spec a more powerful 201 brake horsepower electric motor with mid-range 58 kilowatt hours battery capable of up to 260 miles. It offers improved performance, going from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 7.3 seconds. Buyers can also spec the mid-range 58 kilowatt hours model with an e-boost function which temporarily increases power to 228 brake horsepower, reducing the 0 to 62 miles per hour time to 6.6 seconds. At the top of the range, the 77 kilowatt hours battery model comes with e-boost as standard and manages 0 to 62 miles per hour in 7 seconds with a range of up to 335 miles. The 77 kilowatt hours battery supports 125 kilowatts DC rapid charging, meaning a 7 minute charge adds around 62 miles of range. Charging from 0 to 80% takes around 35 minutes. Cupra promises the Born will offer a sportier driving experience than the ID.3 on which it's based, in keeping with the brand's performance focus. This is thanks to a low-mounted battery, giving the car a near-perfect 50 colon 50 weight distribution for balanced and secure handling. Buyers will be able to choose adaptive suspension as an option. This adds four driving modes called Range, Comfort, Individual and Cupra. Speed-sensitive power steering is also fitted, along with a traction control system designed to maximize traction in all weather conditions. The production version of the Born is largely unchanged from the Seat L Born concept, which was first shown at the 2019 Geneva Motor Show. The front of the car remains short with a sharply angled bonnet leading to a slim front grille featuring a bronze, Cupra logo and standard LED headlights. Beneath this sits a trio of air intakes divided by a copper-colored trim section. The sides of the car feature copper and black finished alloy wheels, along with black contrasting inserts in the lower sills and rear quarter panel. At the rear of the car, a full-width LED light bar is fitted, along with a copper Cupra badge and logo. Beneath this, the rear bumper features a black contrasting insert and a color match rear diffuser. The interior of the Born features a standalone digital dial cluster along with side-mounted drive mode selector. It also gets a flat-bottom sport steering wheel with a pair of copper-trimmed mode selection switches. There's copper accents and stitching throughout the interior, including on the air vents, door handles and center console. A pair of sports seats are fitted, which feature copper-themed inserts. 
A 12-inch infotainment screen is standard and incorporates touch-sensitive slider controls for both the stereo volume and ventilation controls. Buyers can pick from two leather-free upholstery options, called Dinamica and Sequel Yarn. The Dinamica trim is available in either dark blue or gray, and is made from a mix of recycled clothing and single-use plastics. The Sequel Yarn trim is also eco-conscious, manufactured from upcycled marine plastics received from beaches, rivers and the ocean. An array of safety technology is fitted, including predictive active cruise control, traffic sign recognition and travel assist, which can assist with the car's acceleration, braking and steering on a motorway. Optional safety features include a 360-degree camera and parking assist. A side and exit assist system is also available, which monitors blind spots and approaching traffic, sounding an audible warning if a hazard is detected. While the Bourne side profile looks to be largely similar to the ID.3 at a glance, the car is actually around 100mm longer and 30mm lower than the VW, meaning it should maximize interior space. Practicality should also be good, thanks in part to the 385-litre boot, which is slightly larger than that of a seat Leon.